the time is here, everybody. We're going to talk about, or Luis is going to go through with us, and I'll chime in from, from time to time, MLB The Show, and whether or not there is a curse, an MLB The Show cover curse. And uh, this stems from Fernando Tatis, the face of the game, being placed on the cover this year. And immediately, once the announcement was made, it's like, the universe was trying to take Tatis out. First, he had that injury in spring training, and then he's he's out. He he gets hurt swinging a bat. Um, yep. So so tell us tell us what you found, Luis. Uh, we're gonna go in descending or order. So we'll we'll go from 2021 Fernando Tatis on the cover all the way to the first MLB the show. Yes, I understand that the MLB franchise goes before that, but we're just gonna stick to MLB the show. Mm. All right. All right. Hi. <laughs> so, like we mentioned, Fernando Tatis, MLB The Show 21. Pretty, I, I think it's pretty obvious that there's something going on there. It's not the first time he's going to miss significant time due to injury, but it's just the timing of it all. You know, like he literally signs that contract and he's on those Gatorade commercials, I think. I don't know, with Damian Lillard. And all of a sudden he suffers this injury and, you know, He's going to miss some time. So we'll see what happens. Uh, the good thing about looking at this is that I don't think the curse lasts forever. So, uh, all right. MLB 20. Javi Baez. Mm. Now, prior to 2020, he made back-to-back -back All-Star appearances and came second in MVP in 2018. After 2020, last year, short season, he won a gold glove, but I thought he performed poorly offensively. And also, I just feel like there was a, a little there was a little window there where MO, there was a Javi Baez highlight, whether it was defensively or offensively on MLB Network. And I just haven't seen much of him lately. Like they had him tagging guys out at second or swimming his way to the a swim base, yeah. you know, so I don't know. I feel like there's a little bit of a curse going on there. Like I don't look at Javi Baez today and think to myself, whoa, man, like put this guy on a cover of a video game because no. he's that marketable. I, I don't see it this year. I didn't see it last year. We'll see. MLB The Show 19, probably the most boring cover for a MLB The Show game, but it's Bryce Harper, man. It I'm was, and I remember, I remember the hype around this cover too, man. Yeah, like I don't really, uh, I don't really know why he's just standing there with a bat in his hand. Like yeah, he has a pretty, <laughs> he has a pretty violent swing. It would have been cool to maybe see him. Like I don't know if this happened before or after. I have to check, but like maybe him in the home run derby would have been a nice cover yeah. art. But um, it's a and he's he's one of those players that just he's just how do I say this without coming off? He just looks he looks cool, man. He has a cool yeah, beard, yeah. you know. He, he wears a bandana. Yeah, the jersey fits him nicely. You know, he's a Mormon. He's a, he's a Mormon, right? <laughs> I think right. But he has a lot of swagger, and it's like this coverage is there's no no swagger in this cover at all. Yeah. Um. So what did Bryce Harper before to 2019? So 28 2018 and when he got called up uh, in 2018, he had made his fourth straight all-star appearance. Uh, six total won the MVP in 2015. And he has never, he hasn't performed as well as 2015, even leading up to that after 2019, he didn't make the all-star and he hasn't been back to the all-star since. Mm. So that's 19, the shortened season in 20 and currently we're playing in 21. We'll see. What ends up happening, but I personally think Harper has still played top twenty-five consistency in MLB, uh, but definitely not close to that MVP level. Definitely not to the point that you want to put him on a video game. I think he's just probably he's still marketable, but yeah, I think you know, he's he's he. This guy could be the make or break. This guy could decide whether or not this cursor is real or not. Like if he has a really good season this year, and because he's still twenty-eight years old, he's still really young. So yeah. Guys typically come into come into you know form around this age, but he started so young that he's been in the league for a long time. Um, that he could still be a monster, and I think he could be a monster. Um, but if he doesn't end up to be a monster, then uh, I blame MLB the show, man. Me too. MLB the show 18, <sighs> Aaron Judge. Now, I also think this cover art's a little boring, but it okay, also we're not looks talking about cover art, man. <laughs> I was going to say, even even though he's just standing there, it still looks pretty cool because like he's like in the dark, the lights mm -hmm. matches and everything. MLB The Show 
2018. I don't even think I bought this MLB the show. Um, Such that's, a Yankee hater, man. That, no, 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 no. Because honestly, like I, my hate for the show goes beyond that. I made a video about it. Um, <laughs> prior to 2018, Aaron Judge was a he got he played a couple of games in 2016, but he was his rookie season was 2017. We all know the story. I what personally think he broke out, took MLB by storm. Everybody loved the Judge. Holy, holy crap! Like, when is everybody gonna get their version of Aaron Judge? Won the Rookie of the Year, fifty-two home runs, fifty-one, fifty-two. Should have been the MVP. Broke the rookie record uh, for home runs in the American League. I looking back, I the argument for him winning MVP is there. Jose Altuve won it, um, and he came second in MVP. Mm-hmm. The twenty eighteen season, he made it. So this is after he's on the cover already. He made it to the All Star game. 12th in MVP votes. But now there's that narrative that he's injury prone, missed a lot of time in 2019, missed a lot, missed a lot of time in 2020, even though it was a shortened season. And I don't know, Manny, you're a former Yankee fan. <laughs> what so do you I, think? I, I think Judge is one of those players that if he's healthy, he's going to be a top five player in baseball. You may smirk or whatever. No, but, no, I'm sorry. I'm just looking at like. Hit but the I think he is a look. top five player in baseball. The problem is, and I've tried to defend this guy because two of his injuries were not really his fault. Like one of them, he a fractured wrist. He got hit by a pitch. The second one was diving for a ball in the postseason. He broke a rib. Like, what are you supposed to do? You know what I yeah. mean? You're sacrificing your body. But other than that, we've seen a lot of obliques. We've seen a lot of strains, you know, a side strain or whatever. He had like. That we're, we're like 10 games in 15 games in max and he's already had like three days off you know what i mean you mm-hmm. have aaron boone struggling to say whether or not he's injured like stuff like that and i i love aaron judge i can't get over the teeth fix man it's kind of weird but whatever <laughs> we're not talking about that Jesus. Um, <laughs> but i love aaron judge as a player even if even if i wasn't a yankees fan i think this is a kind of guy that you could get behind and like because he's a very positive good player whatever but yeah, man, after that cover, he just hasn't been the same. I mean, there have been two since then, three seasons, right? 2018 was 162 full game, you know, full season. He only played 112 games. 2019, again, another full season, 162 games. He only played 102 of them. 2020, shortened season, 60 games. He only played in 28 of them. Like, it's just like he can't, you know, are we living in a world where, um, what do they call it in NBA uh, when when they rest players? Uh, time load management. Uh, load management. Yeah. Like, are we in a in a in a time now in MLB where we need to give players load like load management? Like, come on, man. I don't know. I, and I I'm a Judge fan too, and I want to see him play at an elite level because they put him on the cover for a reason. I mean, he's a marketable guy. I think he makes the game better. But the narrative is there. I mean, I think as a Yankee fan today, if someone if someone were to tell you, I'll give you Aaron Judge in 2021 for 115 games, I think you would take that. Like 150 game, 15 games, that's a bargain at this point, I feel like, for a guy yeah. like Aaron Judge. Like, on a team like that, I would take it. MLB The Show 17, they put Ken Griffey Jr. on the cover. But the funny thing is, Manny, if you do some digging on a, a website I like to call wikipedia.org, Mm. There's actually an international cover with none other than Aaron Sanchez. Ooh. Now, a lot of you guys watching this are probably like Aaron Sanchez, like that bum. And I'm sorry yeah. if Aaron said, Sa- I'm sorry if Aaron Sanchez ends up watching this. I don't think you're a bum. You play for the, you play in the major leagues. I think anybody that plays in the major leagues is great. But there great. was a time, Manny, there was a time. And I think him being on the cover of an MLB The Show video game proves it. Aaron Judge, Aaron Sanchez was pretty elite for the Blue Jays. Um, and then out of nowhere, he started getting all these blisters on his finger, which I don't know what the cause of that would be because he was a pitcher all his life. You would think like if blisters were an issue, he would have never made it to the point that he did. But Aaron Sanchez has never been the same since. Mm. So I think this is also cursey is cursey. Okay, you're convincing me, man. You're convincing me.